Hello students, welcome to our YouTube channel Experience Tutor. Today we will discuss class 12th physics chapter 2 electrostatic potential and capacitance part 15. And here is our welcome message. Before we begin, we request you to subscribe, like and share our channel. Please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded. Let us begin the today's topic. In the last class, we have studied about the parallel and series combination of capacitors. In today's session, we'll, we'll try to understand the energy stored in a charge capacitor. So. Now, in order to establish a charge on the capacitor, work has to be done on the charge. This work is stored in the form of potential energy of the charge. We know that we have learned in previous videos. Such a potential energy is called energy of the capacitor. Suppose So, we can write it, suppose the charge on the parallel plate capacitor capacitor is Q. In this condition, Each plate of the capacitor is said to be lying. in the electric field of the other plate. The magnitude of the uniform electric field
produced by one plate of the capacitor of capacitor is sigma upon 2 epsilon naught this can be written as equation 1 where sigma is equal to q upon a and a is equal to area of each plate Hence, by taking arbitrarily the potential on in on this plate on this plate as zero that of the other plate at distance d from it will be is equal to sigma upon 2 epsilon naught multiplied by d this is equation 2 from this the potential energy of the first plate is zero and that of the second plate
will be equal to potential into charge Q on it. Which can be written as Sigma D upon 2 epsilon naught multiply by Q which is equation 3. Therefore, energy stored in the capacitor UE is equal to sigma D UE is equal to sigma DQ upon 2 epsilon naught is equal to q a dq upon 2 epsilon naught is equal to q square upon 2 epsilon naught a oblique d which is equation number 4 which is equal to q square upon 2c that is equation number 5 where c is equal to epsilon naught a upon d is equal to capacitance of capacitor moreover we can write Moreover, C is equal to Q upon V from equation 5 and so we can write UE V Q upon 2. This is equation number 6. And UE is equal to half C V square. This is equation number 7. We have derived
these equations or equation 5 6 and 7 for the parallel plate capacitor but in general they are true for all types of capacitor Now, we will derive an expression to show energy stored in the capacitor in the form of energy density so to find the expression of this we will write the energy stored in the capacitor is ue is equal to half C V square. This energy is stored in the region. This energy is stored in the region. in the region between the two plates that is in the volume AD where A is equal to area of each plate and D is equal to separation between them hence if we write
the energy stored per unit volume volume in the region between the plates that is energy density as rho e then then rho e is equal to u e upon volume is equal to half c v square upon a d which is equation number 8 is equal to half epsilon naught a upon d v square upon a d which is equal to equation number 9 again we can write half epsilon naught v by d v by d this can be written as equation 10 which is equal to half epsilon naught e square that is v by d is equal to e which is equal to equation 11 where v upon d is equal to e is equal to electric filled between two plates thus energy stored in the capacitor can be considered as energy as the energy stored
in the electric field between this in the electric field of in the electric field between its plates We have observed we have observed or we can write we have obtained we have obtained this equation for a parallel plate capacitor but it is a result but it is it is a result in general and can be used for the electric field of any arbitrary charge distribution. And this is the end of today's topic. Please subscribe, like, and share our channel. Please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever any video is uploaded by us. Thank you for your support. Keep watching Experience to Tutor YouTube channel. Thank you very much.